Hey everybody, I'm Adam Clivens, and I'm a professor here in the Computer Science Department at the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm the director of our new online master's program in computer science. And my name is Katherine Murphy. I am the program coordinator of the online master's program. We'd like to give you an overview of the program. Why the University of Texas at Austin Master of Computer Science Online? Well, there are generally two types of people who might be interested in getting a master's degree in computer science. First are people who already have careers in a technology-related field, but they'd like to branch out into computer science. The second group of people are people who are already working in a computer-related area, but they'd like to further their expertise and their knowledge base. And for both groups of people, a master's in computer science can often increase your salary potential. It's always a great thing. You know, Catherine, we've pulled some amazing statistics about how much demand there is for computer science right now. There are more than 500,000 openings and fewer than 50,000 CS graduates entering the market each year. And there are about 1 million more computing jobs than applicants who can fill them in 2020. Why specifically UT Austin's computer science department? Well, the UT Austin Computer Science Department is a renowned computer science department. We're routinely ranked in the top 10 programs in the nation, according to US News and World Report. This program in particular is very flexible. You can do it on your schedule. If you have logistical constraints concerning your work or your family, you can fit it in whenever you have time to do it. And that's because the program is 100% online. There's no travel necessary. It's a coursework-based master's. And it's also very affordable. It costs about $10,000 for the full program. That corresponds to $333 per credit hour. And finally, UT Austin has an incredible community of alumni. In particular, there are over 10,000 CS alumni, and you'll be able to join that group of people. Here's an overview of our curriculum. So many people are interested in what the degree requirements are. This program consists of 10 courses, which would be about 30 hours. Um, in, regard, in regards to what is required in elective hours, you have nine hours of required courses. This can be one course from each area, including applications, systems, and theory. For the elective courses, th this is the great part about the program. You have 21 hours that you can choose, and you can pick and choose your courses. So if you have a specific interest in mind, you're more than welcome to satisfy that interest with these requirements. Um, many people want to know what is it that they're going to learn in our program. So people will be able to expand their expertise in areas such as advanced systems design, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data, machine learning, and high performance computing. Some of the classes we offer are advanced operating systems, deep learning, parallel systems, all the way to algorithms. You can find a list of our courses on our website, and we are hoping to continue to expand the courses offered in our program. So some of those may be graphics, data centers, computer security, and scientific computing. Let us give you some more program information. Many people are interested in how much this program costs. As Adam said earlier, the tuition is $10,000 for the full program, which is about $333 per credit hour, or about $1,000 per class. There are some additional fees that will apply. Please find more information on that at our website. There will be options for financial aid, federal guaranteed loans, and some private sector loans. You also may be eligible for some GI Bill benefits. The best place to go is to go to the, our financial aid office. You can call them or you can access information via the website. When you go to the website or if you're calling them, make sure to say that you're inquiring about financial aid information for the online master's program and mention that we are an option three program. One thing people ask is how much time is it gonna take me to complete my program? Well, the degree can be completed in one and a half to three years on average, but some students are only able to take one course at a time. So every student has up to six years to complete their program of work. We are, we typically recommend that working professionals take one to two courses per semester just so they can get an idea of how much um, time they need to balance their work life and school. Uh, we do anticipate each course to take anywhere from eight to 15 hours of your time each week. This projection includes reading the assignments, viewing the course and corresponding with your uh, professors, your TAs and your classmates. And we don't want you to be overwhelmed. Absolutely not. This program is very much like an on-campus program in an online format. 
All of our courses are going to be presented on edX Global Platform. The classes are going to be pre-recorded, and as we mentioned, no travel will be necessary to take the classes. There will also be a lot of support for these classes. There will be a professor assigned to each class, and there will be a large group of TAs who will give extra instruction and support. You'll also be able to collaborate with fellow students who are taking the class via various online programs and platforms through edX. What's needed for this program in terms of technology? Well, just an internet connection, a computer, and also a video camera and microphone. A video camera and microphone that's attached to your laptop will be totally sufficient. Correct. And this is very important because this is mostly going to be applicable to the proctored exams. Right. You're going to need the video camera and the microphone to make sure that you're taking the exams in the way that edX wants you to. Let's talk about eligibility for this program. So here are some strong recommendations that we have for who's qualified to apply for the master's program in computer science. First recommendation would be a computer science undergraduate degree. But we will consider other technical degrees, such as electrical engineering, computer engineering, and mathematics. And Catherine, we want people to succeed in this program. And so we're strongly recommending that even if you don't have a degree in computer science or a highly related technical field, you've at least taken about six computer science courses, either at your university or online. These courses, you can find them on our website. They include classes like Introduction to Programming and Algorithms and Complexity, but we have a complete list on our website. That's great. And please feel free to offer those certificates in your application process. That's something the admissions committee is going to be very interested in seeing. They want to understand your background. So providing those online certificates is the best way for us to see that coursework. Let's talk more about the application process and some deadlines. Absolutely. So there are several required documents that you need. One is to complete the application. You'll find this online. It's fairly simple to begin and to complete. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to email us. You also need to provide official transcripts. You will not need to provide paper transcripts right away, just copies of them for the graduate school to review. If you are admitted to the program, paper transcripts will need to be mailed in and an English proficiency exam. Applicants are going to be exempt from this English proficiency requirement if they possess a bachelor's degree from a U.S. institution or an institution in a country where English is the only official language. Provide a statement of purpose and a CV. If you have any questions about how to better prepare yourself, you can email us and we can help provide a checklist to guide you. Certain things that are optional but not required are going to be the letters of recommendation. And let's say you took one of our prerequisite courses on an online platform. If they gave you an online certificate, you're more than welcome to provide that in the miscellaneous document section of your application process. Going on, you will also need to sub submit an application fee. $65 is going to be the application fee for uh, U.S. students, and the $98 application fee will be for international students. Once you have this paid and you've turned in all your required documentation, the graduate school will be reviewing your materials, and they will pass it along to us for the admissions committee to review. And you are welcome to track your application via applytexas.org, and you can check the status of your application on the My Status page. Our application deadlines are set. So fall applications open on December 15th. There is no difference between a priority deadline and the regular deadline. The only difference is that you're going to be informed sooner if you apply by the priority application deadline. For the spring applications, those will be opening on June 1st. If you have any questions as to what may be taking too long or if you don't have all the materials, it's best to check your My Status. And if something seems awry, feel free to contact us. Once again, we're here to help. Here's how you can contact us. You can visit our website, FAQ. You can navigate to it by going to cs.utexas.edu, or you can email us at msonline at cs.utexas.edu. We're really excited about this program, and we hope that you apply. We look forward to seeing your application.